Hi, I'm Rebecca Mara, and I am the creator of Samadhi. It's an energy healing and somatic therapy modality that I've developed over over 10 years with a lot of different trainings. So I draw upon a lot of different resources. And I want to use this video to kind of explain to you what sessions might look like, just because there are so many different tools that I'm including in sessions. Um, so my priority, as you might have read on the website, is to have people feel more loved, more seen, and more safe. And I really believe that those three things can heal just about everything. That's it's kind of the bottom line. And when people are coming in for sessions, there's usually a reason for their discomfort. So you're coming in with some kind of, it might be some more recent things that have been happening um, that kind of triggered things, but overall we have these patterns that are so hardwired in our systems that um, have created suffering throughout our lives so they're patterns that that develop when we were really young and then they still kind of create problems for us in our current day experience and sometimes when people are coming in it's just it's just situational um, but but almost everything ties into this more this core root which is what we're trying to resource in sessions like that's the whole point of coming in for sessions is to to find out how to resource and how to repair and how to rebuild after challenging experiences. Um, so it is an energy healing modality and so with the energy healing part I can see parts of your aura so I'm able to um, experience that. I am doing hands-on work most of the time so I'll have my hands on different parts of your body and I'll get a lot of information um, from those different areas. Each area is going to have some different information that it's going to tell me. Um, so I'll feel where there's congestion that needs to be released. I'll feel where there's some emotion that might need to be released. Um, and my, my biggest spidey sense and my biggest psychic skill is being able to sense nervous system patterns emotions and thought patterns, mental patterns through my hands and touching different parts of your body. And I'll be able to feel, you know, where the biggest blockage is and I'll move toward that and we'll be working with your whole system to get the whole system flowing, especially addressing the areas with the biggest blockages. Um, so with my hands, I can, I can tune into what's happening and I'll be giving you kind of a psychic reading the whole time. Um, and telling you exactly what I'm seeing, any messages that I'm getting. So I might be getting messages from spirit that you need to hear, like affirmations or something that you just, just words that are um, healing for you. And I also might have parts of you talking to me, telling me about your experience. And so parts are like um, parts of ourselves that have separate voices that are like, I'm having this experience right now and I need to share this with you. And the beauty of energy healing and the somatic therapy part, the somatic therapy is, is half of what I do at least. Um, part of what's beautiful about this energy healing is that we can get to some pretty deep stuff pretty quickly because I'm with your direct experience. It's a bottom-up approach, which means that it's from the body and the energy body, um, the nervous system more than it is just the mind and the stories, right? So traditional talk therapy, it's a lot of mental talking, you know, working through things, processing things, but it doesn't necessarily make your body feel better. I'm not saying it isn't helpful to have cognitive reframes and to be able to change our thinking patterns, but a lot of times trauma is stored in the body and that's where things like somatic experiencing come into play, um, nervous system regulation. But uh, so it's a bottom-up approach, meaning it's working with the body, the nervous system, before the mind and all the stories and all of those things. The body is, is what responds the most to a sense of safety and attunement and being loved. And so that's where the that healing gets really hard, hardwired. Um, so the as different parts come up or we're meeting different parts we're looking for where we can bring in more safety more of a feeling of love and depending on where you're at we'll be exploring everything together so you might be like i think i want to feel more joy here or you might be like whoa there's a lot of grief in the back of my heart can we explore that or can 
I have time to breathe through that as we, I, you know, I allow it to release through the body. Um, or it might be, you know, a theme that comes up a lot is, is practicing our capacity to trust, not in our heads, not just this cognitive trust, but it's like, how do I really embody trusting life and knowing that I'm okay, no matter what's happening, that I'm going to be okay. And that's a really important part of healing. Um, so in a nutshell, it's hands-on energy healing and somatic therapy, which is a version of psychotherapy more or less and trauma healing. Um, it's working with attachment parts, parts that weren't loved enough, seen enough, and we're bringing love and safety and care so that those parts can start evolving because the parts of us that haven't received the love and the safety and the care that they need, they stay kind of stuck in time and space and they're waiting for us to go find them so that they can help evolve and so that they can keep growing and coming back home to love, coming back home to your true self. Um, so I consider sessions to be practice and it, we, in order to, heart, to rewire our brains and our, our bodies, we really need to keep practicing to rewire and to really get those patterns hardwired. So you'll have homework, so you can go home and um, bring something that's a core lesson into a meditation um, so that you can practice embodying that new state so that you can really change your way of experiencing the world. And with this, you've got to really believe in the power of your ability to heal. A lot of us forget how, how powerful we are for creating change in our lives because uh, it feels like so many things have happened to us, but there's there's such a power in the integration part of sessions. So between sessions, your work at home, where you get to see yourself really shine and really show up in a new way, is is a big part of of the whole process. And I love creating relationships with people. I love seeing people grow over time. So. Um, it, it is, it's helpful to come in once if you're just kind of in distress and to, you know, to get you back on track. Maybe you'll get some insights. There are a lot of, you know, kind of life lessons that come up. Um, and also it's wonderful to be able to keep practicing and having, uh, establishing a healing relationship and container with, with me. So, um, I hope that that helps clarify what sessions are like. And I am sending you care, and I hope that you have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you.